All right, guys, let's start lesson 5-1. Today we're going to prove and apply theorems about the perpendicular bisectors. We're also going to prove and apply theorems about the angle bisector. When a point is the same distance from two or more objects, the point is said to be equal distance from the objects. Okay, we're going to start out with two theorems here. We have the perpendicular bisector theorem. And what this says is, if a point is on the perpendicular bisector, so line L is a perpendicular bisector of segment AB, forms a right angle, it bisects segment AB, so we know AY and BY are equal to each other, are congruent. So what this theorem is saying is X is equal distance from the endpoints of that segment. So XA and XB are equal to each other. Second theorem is the converse of the perpendicular bisector. If we have a point that is equal distance from those endpoints, because of these tick lines, XA is equal to XB, then we know that line XY, or you could call that line L, is perpendicular bisector of segment AB. Therefore, you know YA and YB are congruent. A locus is a set of points that satisfies a given condition. The perpendicular bisector of a segment can be defined as the locus of points in a plane that are equal distance from the endpoints of the segment. All right, so let's apply this. So we need to find the measurement of segment MN. Well, NP, line NP, is the perpendicular bisector of segment ML. How do we know that? We've got a right angle, and these segments are congruent. So we can say MN is equal to LN because of the perpendicular bisector theorem. And then just substitute in what you know. We know that LN is 2.6. Therefore, MN is also 2.6. Okay, now we're trying to find the measurement of segment BC. Segment BC. So what we can say is since AB is equal to AC, and line AD, line AD, is a perpendicular bisector, so it's perpendicular to BC. That is what's given. We can say that BD is equal to BD is equal to CD. How do we know that? Converse. Of perpendicular bisectors theorem. Okay, well BD is going to equal 12 if we substitute in for CD. What we're trying to find is BC. Well BC equals BD plus DC which is 12 plus 12, therefore BC equals 24. Okay, find the measure of TU, TU. So what do we have here? We have a perpendicular bisector line UW bisects segment TU because of this right angle and these tick marks. Because of that, we know that TU is equal to VU, that is your perpendicular bisector. Let's substitute in. Line 
Let's solve for our variable x. Okay, x equals 6.5, but what we are trying to solve for is tu. tu equals 3x plus 9. So now you want to substitute in for that variable x and simplify. And the measurement of tu is 28.5. find dg if eg equals 14.6. So see if you can do this one on your own. Two more theorems here. Angle bisector theorem. Okay, what this theorem is saying, if a point is on the bisector of an angle, so we have point C, it's on the bisector, so ray PC is the angle bisector of angle APB. Then it is equal distance from the sides of the angle. So C is equal distance from AC to BC. So you get those equal to each other. Then we have the converse of the angle bisector. If a point in the interior of an angle, so we have point C, it is equal distance to the sides of that angle because of these tick marks right here, then we know that ray PC is the angle bisector. If it's the angle bisector, we know that angle APC is congruent to angle BPC. So let's look at some of these. Okay, we need to find BC. BC. Well, we know that this is the angle bisector of this angle because of these arcs right here. So we know that BC equals DC because of our angle bisector theorem. And then we can substitute in for DC and get what BC equals. All right, find the measure of EHF. E, sorry, that's EFH. So we're trying to find that measurement right there, given that EFG is 50 degrees. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have that EH is equal to GH that is given. We have that E what is that? EH Yes, EH is a perpendicular bisector of FE. And we have GH is perpendicular to um, FG because of this right angle here. This segment is perpendicular to this ray. This segment is perpendicular to this ray. Okay? 
Um, we know that ray FH is a bisector or bisects angle EFG. And how do we know that? Because of the converse of the angle bisector theorem. Okay, so once we have that, we know that the measurement of angle EFH equals half of the measurement of angle EFG. How do we know that? That is your definition of an angle bisector. Okay? So let's substitute in what we know. We're trying to solve for this angle. And EFG is given, that's 50 degrees. Therefore, what we're looking for is 25 degrees. Okay, I'm going to be quiet and see if y'all can figure this one out on your own. Okay, I'm going to have to stop this and we're going to have to do a second part. So I'll see you in just a minute.